better face expressions in ControlNet. There is another method for ControlNet? Of course there is. Hello my friends, how are you doing? So this one is about the face rotation, but also the face expression. Render this. <laughs> I want to see that in my Facebook group or in my Discord. Also check out my live stream tomorrow. We will test this model, play around with Comfy UI and review your works. Okay, let's talk about some facts here. This new method is an early development. It is only for Stable Diffusion 2.1, but I'm going to show you two models that work really well with that. So let's get started here for the install process. So for this, what you want to do is to go into your automatic 11.11 install folder, look for the extensions folder, and then here you have the SD Web UI control net. Now, I would suggest that you move this folder into another folder as a backup or simply delete that folder because we will replace it with a new repo. That means a new copy of that control net that will be downloaded and will include the method for the face lion. After we have deleted this folder here, you click up here in the address bar and you write CMD. Hit enter. This will open up your command window. In here, you will simply copy paste this command here. I will have that as a link below my video, so you can copy paste that right in here. Hit enter. This will download everything you need for this new method and install a completely new SD Web UI control net folder with all the methods in there. So you can still use all the other methods like Kenny, Depth Map, everything you used before. But those are, of course, for Stable Diffusion 1.5. Only the face method is for Stable Diffusion 2.1. That's a very important difference. After you have done this, you want to go to this Hugging Face page. Again, I've linked this below. Download the ControlNet SD 2.1 Lion Face version 2 Prune Safe Tensor file. So click here on the download arrow and you want to save that into your automatic 11.11 folder, in there into the models folder, in there into the ControlNet folder where all of your other models are. Now, before we're going to restart our automatic 11.11, we need two models that work with 2.1. The one model that I want to suggest to you is called Mishi Anime. This, of course, is for anime images, but it works very well and has very beautiful results. So you can download that here. You download that into the automatic 11.11 models folder and in there into the stable diffusion folder where all of your other models are. The second model I want to suggest to you is called Realism engine. This can create portrait images, can also create scenes like these street scenes here. Now in the description it says it is not advised for portraits, but I tried it out. It works pretty well for portraits, especially when using the prompts from the realistic vision model. So you can go to that side here and just copy these prompts over work pretty well. Now again for the realism engine you want to download this again into the same folder. So like I said, automatic 11.11, models folder, stable diffusion folder. Now we have to do another step because this is 2.1. So you want to go to your web UI user.bat, right click, show more options, and then select edit. In set command line arcs, you want to write minus minus no minus half, and then save that file. After all of that is done, double click on your web UI user.bat to open up Stable Diffusion. Now, first of all, you should be able to see Control Net down here. I have two Control Nets because of my settings. You probably only have one in here. You want to check under the preprocessors that you have one that is reading media pipe underscore face. And then over here for the Control Net models, you want to have the Control Net SD21 Lion Face version 2 pruned model in here so that everything is set up correctly. If you don't see that model in here, you click here on this blue button and this should reload all the models from your folder. Now you should be able to see that. Next, you want to go to settings. And when you're in here, scroll down on the left side and click on control net. Up on the top, we have a config file for the control net models. This is a YAML file. For you, this says V15, but of course, right now we need V21. So for a stable diffusion 2.1, you want to change that and then click apply settings. 
This is very important, but you also have to keep in mind that you change that back when you want to use the other methods again. For now, that is a little bit unconvenient until this method is rendered for Stable Diffusion 1.5, which I was told should happen rather soon. After this has all been set up, load here one of the 2.1 models. I'm loading Realism Engine here. Write your prompt a negative prompt. In this case, it is suggested to use DDIM for that specific model, 30 steps for the sampling. Of course, a resolution of 768 by 768. And then down here, you want to load your photo. To see that the pre-processing is working, you can scroll down here and you can click on preview annotator result. This will render this mask for you that should look similar to the face on the left side. After you're ready, just click here on generate and let it render and see what kind of results you're getting from that. Now here's another thing that I want to point out. I have here two control nets and you would think that you can use another control model in the second control model here, but you can't because the second or all the other models that are in here, for example, the Kenny model are 1.5. That means when you use both of them together, this will not be applied to the image. A workaround for that could be to download the control net models for 2.1. I have not tested that, but that might be able to work. So you can use multiple models at the same time. Here on the screen, you can see some of the results I got. Write in the comments what you think about this method and please post your results in my Facebook and Discord group. See you tomorrow in my live stream. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet and well, um, yeah.